What up guys, it's Malachi. Today, I want to talk about birthdays and, to a lesser extent, weddings. So, birthdays are fine. Um, when you're a kid, it's kind of great. All your friends show up, you can beat the pinata, eat cake, or whatever the hell kids are doing these days, probably sit around on there iPads and iPhones that they have at six years old and uh, not talk with each other. But that's beside the point. Anyways, my beef is not with birthdays in particular. I think it's fine when you're younger to celebrate the day that you were born, have all your friends over, play, do whatever the hell. My problem comes in when you get to having adults that are celebrating their birthday. Here's a, uh, here's a bit of knowledge for anyone that's listening. Um, after your 21st birthday, uh, birthdays don't fucking matter anymore. Uh, just going forwards, stop. No one gives a shit. No one gives a fuck. And uh, a couple of my friends don't seem to realize that that's the way it works, so, I don't know, I have a friend that's turning 29 as of right now, and they're spamming their Facebook with birthday invites, I mean, they've toned it down over the years, I get it, but they still want to go out to dinner with a bunch of their friends to celebrate them. And, I mean, this person's fucking 29, and I, I just I just really can't get it through their head to be like, you, you, this shit doesn't matter after you're 21. 21 only matters because you're legally allowed to drink, which everyone's already been drinking for fucking years at this point. If you have any sort of social life, you've probably been drinking since you were at least 16. So, uh... Yeah, 20, turning 21 is a celebration of being able to go to bar cultures legally without using a fake ID, which whoop de fucking do you get to go to a bar where it's loud as fuck, expensive as fuck, and uh, I don't know, I guess that's some people's scene, but I fucking hate people, so bars suck. But anyways, back to this. I mean, I get it. Um... You, you throw this little party for yourself, invite everyone. But the problem is, like, how, how fucking self-centered do you have to be to expect your friends to take this time off work just to support this frivolous bullshit that should have stopped when you were a kid and having the audacity to expect drinks or your food comped just because you were fucking conceived on this day it just infuriates me. I mean, these these people that give a shit about their birthday, either you're just like a really fucking entitled, dramatic woman, or you're a really fucking entitled, dramatic man if you're celebrating your birthday past the 21st year. And that's that's the thing. These are, These are the type of people that brag about having six, eight hundred friends on Facebook when in reality they'll talk to two to three people and they just get they just get off on the fact that they know so many people, that they have so many phone numbers in their friend in their fucking phone. But it doesn't mean anything. And nobody fucking tells them. Everyone just kind of shows up, and we're all so goddamn polite now. It's like, oh, it's your birthday. You lived another year. Congratulations. Oh, my God. I didn't get you a gift because you're not a fucking kid anymore. It shouldn't be expected. But I don't know. I mean, it's pretty infuriating that people expect you to give it a fuck anymore after... After, you know what, I'll, I'll go as far as to say the age of 16 is a pretty significant birthday, because at that point, 
I guess you can drive or get your lear learner's permit, which which allows you to contribute a little bit to society as opposed to turning 21 and just being fucking annoying and being like, let's go to the bar and spend $200. I fucking hate those people. For my 21st per birthday, uh, people dragged me to the bar when I didn't want to fucking go. And you know what? It's actually kind of funny because they told me after that night, because everyone bought me shots, which was sweet, but they told me after that night that the goal was not to celebrate my 21st birthday. The goal was to get me so intoxicated that I would have to go to the hospital and have my fucking uh, stomach pumped. They were like, oh yeah, let's get Malachi so drunk that he needs a fucking ambulance. And, I mean, that's, that's friendship right there. But anyways, I digress. I think I've made it pretty clear that I fucking hate birthdays. But in the same vein of things, weddings. Oh, fuck. Man, weddings are even worse than birthdays. Holy shit. Oh my god. So these same people that glorify their birthday, if they end up getting married, and God forbid they meet another fucking narcissist like them, where everyone, where this couple just thinks that the goddamn world revolves around them. First and foremost, you have the coup de gras of narcissism and egocentrism. The fucking wedding. So... I have seen a couple of times, I didn't think that this was very common, I've seen bridezillas, and uh, that's a thing. Um, people get so wrapped up in their fucking special day that's supposed to change their life that they, they snap, they go crazy. Fine, whatever. You can, you can be crazy if you want to, that's, that's a life choice. Uh, it's not affecting me, I don't have to deal with your fucking bullshit, and I won't, but... I've also seen, and this is a new up-and-coming trend, is goddamn, like, groomzillas. So, I mean, I know that the tradition right now is to have a bachelor party, bachelorette, wedding, right? But now it's, like, fucking expanded to, there's a goddamn bridal shower, bachelorette, wedding, and the expansion is just fucking ridiculous, because the Bachelor Bachelorette used to just be a couple of hours, maybe, of one day, where you just get your friend hammered and take him to a strip club, whatever, fine, that's a, that's a great tradition, um, you're supposed to be testing the resolve of the relationship with one last night of temptation, I get it, that's what a Bachelor Bachelorette is. Anyways, Bachelor and Bachelorettes have evolved into fucking destination bullshit. Like, my friends that are getting married now, they're renting a fucking house for the weekend, inviting 20 to 30 people to fucking celebrate this bullshit that no one wants to even go to. I don't give a shit. You know what? If you like weddings, good for you. But that doesn't mean I want to go to your goddamn wedding and spend fucking two to three thousand dollars on fucking hard-earned money just to show that I'm not a shitty friend. It's fucking ridiculous. Your friendship is held hostage these days by these people that just fucking, they invite you and they think that you should be so goddamn happy that you're invited. Like, I gotta ask the fucking best man, and sure, I mean, some people can look at that as, oh, that's such an honor. This person values your friendship so much that they want you to give a goddamn speech at their wedding and plan their bachelor party. But fuck that, man. I'm lazy. I'm lazy as fuck. I wanted to be like, yo, dude, I mean, we're tight, but... I fucking hate this, uh, talking in front of people. I hate it so goddamn much. And planning a bachelor party, you're not just going to want to sit around and play fucking Steam games. So, and all my friends fucking hate doing active things like rock climbing and shit like that. 
which is actually fun. So, like, what, are we going to go to a club or bars? Oh, that is the plan? Fucking great. So we're doing a goddamn weekend getaway to spend shit tons of money to go to a club or venue or whatever the fuck. Oh my god. And then someone will pipe up in like the email chains when this shit is being organized as like, oh, this is um, so-and-so's bachelor party. They shouldn't spend a dime. It's like, well, I don't want to fucking be here. I don't want to pick up the goddamn slack for my fucking friend. And you know what? I, it's awful. It's the worst thing in the world because there's that built-in shame. You don't want to look like the cheap friend. You really don't want to look like the cheap friend. But everyone's the goddamn cheap friend. So if one person breaks the silence and says, hey, I, I can't afford this, then that starts the gears turning, and everyone will be like, yeah, this has gotten out of hand, this has gotten expensive. But no one wants to be that person, because you just get branded as that person. Then you go to the party, and everyone's like, oh, do you need me to spot you some money, and you can pay me back? It's just so fucked. It's so fucked. I fucking hate weddings so much. I mean, we're at the point where there's destination bachelor and bachelorette parties. Fucking great. That's a grand out of my pocket. Oh, what is that? There's also destination weddings? Great. So you want me to fly somewhere with more of my goddamn vacation days so that I can sit by and watch you do whatever the fuck the government wants you to do to make your marriage more ratified? Fucking awesome. And then there's the fucking reception afterwards. Which is great, because you, you can just get plastered, I guess. But, like, uh, I mean, so say the wedding's on a Friday. Uh, wedding and reception's on a Friday. So you, you have all of Saturday to recover, es- essentially. And then I guess you could uh, chill out on Sunday. But that's not what it is anymore. Weddings are on fucking Saturdays. And you have a fucking pre-wedding dinner that you're supposed to go to on the day before the wedding, so that eats up that half a day. Then you have the full fucking wedding on Saturday. And then you turn Sunday into just a hungover day, so there's no fucking point. I just... I I hate it. I hate it so much. Like, people, people tell me all the time that I'm bitter, that I'm an angry person, that I shouldn't hate weddings, that it's just like a celebration of other people's loves for each other. But that's not what it is. It's a fucking party where you're paying money to watch these two goddamn narcissists just show how narcissistic they are, how much they spend on their wedding, what color the flowers are. They'll fucking tell you all about it. It's all just a goddamn little competition that nobody wants to be a part of, that when you're in your late 20s, that everyone's a goddamn part of. Now, I went to, like, I don't know, the average wedding cost is $25,000. Let that sink in. That's the fucking average. Now, if someone doesn't want to seem stingy at this point, they have to blast past $25,000. So I've been to, like, three or four weddings now. I fucking hate them. I think I've made that clear. But, um... Jesus Christ. $25,000 is the bare minimum, essentially. So the weddings I've been to have, like, the fucking... The fucking bride and groom will gladly tell you how much it costs while pretending that it's painful. Like, oh, God, this thing costs 35000 Or this wedding costs $40,000. I went to a fucking $55,000 wedding, and all it was is just this giant party to show how much this fucking groom made. He went through every avenue to show exactly how expensive or how much he paid for this wedding. Fancy manner? Check. 
tons of food and hors d'oeuvres that was extremely fancy and uh, extremely small portions of, check. Ridiculous live band, check. Um, custom suit and tie for all the groomsmen and the groom himself, check. I mean, what the fuck, man? It's absolutely absurd. Like, why? how did this get to be a thing? How did weddings get so out of control? Why does everyone expect you to give a shit about their relationship? Why is everyone so goddamn insecure that they can't go to the fucking courthouse if they want to be married so bad? Because no one wants to be married. People want a fucking wedding. And that's, that's where we're at. It's the... Uh, Height of narcissism, the look at me culture. God, I fucking hate everyone. All right, more rants to come.